Hey guys, welcome back to the north. Pretty nice day today. It's about minus 18 out, overcast and uh, blowing and uh, got a light snow. Came back out to the cabin, I was running the line here. I'm gonna come up to my bait station and uh, re-put the other two traps in there that I caught the two wolverines in last week. I pull up to it and hell, there's a wolverine in there. Alive still, in a Connie bear. This wolverine here, I didn't investigate it yet, I'm just gonna look now. He got inside the pen, he must have came from the back way, and it appears that he was tugging on the moose hide, trying to drag it out of there, and it looks like he backed into the trap, and it looks like he's caught by the foot. So I'm gonna go up, I'll take that trap off, and we'll have a look at this guy. Out of the three carny bears, the three 330 carny bears I set here, I got a wolverine, each one of those, in one week. Last, last Friday was when I got the doubles and it's Friday today. So each one of those traps paid off. So this was a great set. I'm gonna reset all three of these traps around here, fix my Connie bear, and we'll shoot for number four in this set. This is just great. Four beautiful Wolverine pelts now. I only got one stretcher. This guy's gonna get skinned tonight. Tonight I'm gonna have to make a new stretcher to get this guy done. And I still have my other two that are skinned and they'll be stretched as well. Let's have a look at this guy. He's got a beautiful crown on him. We'll just have a look. I shot him with a 17 HMR. I got a new 17. I'll uh, show you guys a little bit more on that later. Anyways, guys, we will take this guy out and we'll have a look at him. Right on. Well, that's a pretty nice Wolverine, that one. Quite heavy. He was caught around the foot. You know, these traps are designed to kill him, but you know, we backed into it, trying to most likely tug it on the moose hide. It's not right in the center of the bait station where I had it. So this guy here, he'll get, uh, he'll get buried in the sleigh and snow so he doesn't freeze. Tonight I'll get him skinned and stretched and uh, I got four pelts now. So this one here, I might uh, keep for myself. I always wanted a Wolverine hat. I got enough pelts, so I think this is gonna be my new hat. It'll be great. Okay, guys, I'll reset my pen, put three fresh 330 corny bears in there, and hopefully we see this bait station again with Wolverine number four in it. Okay, guys, talk to you soon. Okay, I got uh, the bait station reset. Got it all fixed up. I put, uh, there's three 330 carny bears on here again. Moose hide in the middle. Maybe all that fresh wolverine piss around will attract uh, other wolverines. It sure would be nice to get uh, a fourth wolverine in this set. Like I said, that's three out of this set so far. That's, uh, that's pretty damn good. Yeah, well, uh, I was uh, quite the surprise today when I was uh, heading down the line. I was gonna go and check traps on my west line. I just got wolf snares and marten boxes and 330s there. I've got no lag holes set there. So I'm uh, going down the trail, coming up to my bait station. I'm going to replace the two condy bear traps from uh, last week where I caught the two in, the double header. I come up and that bad boy there, he's in there kicking around in there, you know, it was quite the surprise. Three wolverines in one set, you know. It's never happened to me before. That's a pretty good location. It kind of follows along a creek. So the wolverine, they kind of hunt rabbits along the thick brush along the trees there. So anyways, it was actually a pretty pleasant uh, surprise. The three traps that I did set there, you know, I got a, a wolverine out of all three of them, three wolverines in one week. That's uh, also new. I've never caught three wolverines in a week before, you know, which is great. That's uh, a personal record for myself. So I'm gonna get this guy skinned out. Uh, before I do that, I got a, I got a fashion uh, Wolverine stretcher together here. I got a hand planer. I'll put him in the vise and I'll plane him, and uh, plane the, plane the stretcher down. Then I'll sand it. I'll get him skinned. Then I'll get him boarded, and uh, that'll be that'll be get him fleshed, and that'll be uh, it for the night. Picked up a Wolverine today. Always a good day when you pick up a Wolverine. Tomorrow we're gonna run the east line. Uh, I got quite a few lag holes and link snares back there, so we'll 
keep a positive attitude and we'll just hope for the best. Maybe we'll pick up another Wolverine. We just never know what the trap line will bring us. So anyways guys, it's about 9 o'clock at night right now. I got uh, a few hours of work to do in here. So uh, I'm going to start my Wolverine stretcher and then get him skin boarded and uh, call her a night. Okay guys, we'll talk to you shortly. So, there's uh, two different kinds of stretcher boards. You know there's uh, the splitter board, that's two parts to it. They open, they, it splits open and closes, and uh, that's, a that's what I'm making right now, so there'll be two parts for this board. And then there's also like a single board. Uh, it's just one, one single board. Uh, that's the kind that you need to put your uh, belly board in, because when the pelt dries on it, the pelt shrinks, huh? If you don't put a belly board in, then it shrinks around your stretcher, and it's it's real tough to get off. So this one here, this will be a, uh, a splitter board for Wolverine. You know, they take a little while to make, but once you get them made, you know, then you got them, huh? So if you spend uh, a couple hours building a stretcher, then you know that's it's done, man. You could use that stretcher for forever, huh? So take a little bit of time, build your own stretchers, you know, and you save uh, you save some money. If you wanted to buy a Wolverine stretcher, it could be forty-five or fifty dollars. For me to build this Wolverine stretcher, I bought uh, one eight-foot uh, two by uh, one by six, uh, which cost me all of three fifty. So. Instead of paying fifty dollars on a stretcher, I paid five dollars, put a couple hours work into it, bang, done. So it pays off if you want to make your own stretchers. Anyways, guys, I gotta get this done. I don't want to be up all night. I got a long day tomorrow. because when you take when you remove your pelt off the stretcher you know it causes friction and it, it'll stick on there good man so uh, do a nice job round it down uh, good along the edges sand it down nice and good as smooth as you get you don't want no bubbles in it or, or no little indents because again the pelt will shrink onto your stretcher and it'll, it'll make it like say if there's a little groove inside there that'll actually hold that pelt and that stretcher pretty damn good. Made lots of stretches over the years and I uh, made a lot of fuck ups as well. But uh, it's all part of the learning uh, learning process, huh? What is it? Trial and error they call that I think. So anyways, I'm gonna finish uh, sanding this one off. I gotta sand down the other half of it. Then I'll put them together, get my Wolverine skinned, Get them on the stretcher, then it's down all bedtime, guys. It's already getting late. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, my Wolverine stretcher splitter board is done. You know, if you could run your hand down it, and not get any slivers or feel no too rough, then it's done. If you reach, run your hand down it, you can feel lumps in it or slivers, well, you got to do more sanding, man. You know, it's got to be got to be damn well damn near perfect. So anyways guys, that is your uh, Wolverine splitter board. I will uh, get a lot of use out of this board. You know that took me all of an hour and a half maybe to build, to construct and uh, you know I hopefully over the years I uh, put a lot of good use out of it and, and stretch a lot of Wolverine. So there you go guys, there's your uh, Wolverine splitting board. Now, uh, I'm going to start skinning, test out my new board. Okay guys, just 
we're done. Hey guys, uh, got my Wolverine skinned as you can see. This is a large adult male this one was. Uh, my stretcher uh, turned out pretty good. Uh, so now I'm going to tack them down, then I'll flesh them. You know, I'll, I'll take all the saddle off, all the fat's got to go. You know, there's all different kinds of ways to flesh any pulp. You know, as long as you get the saddle and all the fat and any any meat on it. <coughs> so you're only left with the pie, that's good. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Uh, I'm not going to tie into the, uh, the fleshing <coughs> tonight or anything. Because in the future I'm planning on doing a, uh, a video on skinning and uh, fleshing and stretching a wolverine. Kind of like my one video from wolf to wolf pelt, but I'll call it from wolverine to wolverine pelt or, or whatever I decide to call it. Now, uh, I don't know when that video is going to get done, you know, that's just something I'm planning on. First of all, I have to, uh, to catch another wolverine. That might not even happen this year, so it's something that's going to happen in the future. So anyways, like I said, this wolverine has a beautiful crown. Nice, uh, nice adult male wolverine. So this one here, I'm keeping it for myself. I would like to get a wolverine hat made, huh? You know, I always wanted one. I keep telling myself I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a hat made one of these days with one of my pelts, and that hasn't happened yet. But I think this is the pelt that I'm gonna, gonna do that with. Uh, I know a few people have wolverine hats, and they're really beautiful. Who knows? I got. I might even get a pair of mitts made to go with my hat. You know, I got four Wolverine pelts now, so that's great. Maybe I'll get another one this winter. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But we'll just uh, we'll just hope for the best. Okay, guys, it's getting late. I'm just about done. I'm tired. We've got a long day tomorrow. Tomorrow we cross the river and go east. Okay, guys, talk to you another day.